Hello, Internet! If you guys put your eyes on the queen of- No, no, not, not those two. They're outdated. We have a whole new milk, I mean, whole new waifu. Ill enough. And I already got her. I don't do, like, so many videos because I don't really have the ability to control myself to wait before I spend my, um, bookmarks. So yeah, I usually just spend it all because I've been holding back for a long time. This is my ill enough. I have her on speed set, but I would say counter set should be the way to go. But I don't have a good counter set, so I'm just gonna go speed set. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because I'm gonna be pairing her with someone that's quite familiar. The great Mortalix. If you don't know Mortalix, you probably don't know. He inflicts injury on S3 too. So the idea here is to probably do Bazaar to like strip any uh, potential barrier or whatever, push them back, and we'll take a turn with it enough. We'll do S3 first. S3 will give um, herself immunity and crit damage buff to Mortalix. And with crit damage buff, he'll do this. The first time he uses this, 15% of the HP will be taken away by the injury effect. That means Ilanov could do S2 and, you know, S1 could proc in S2 too, 50% chance, so Elbris here, pretty, pretty useful. This will take away 20%, so pretty much, if I proc this twice, plus Mortalis' S3, the enemy would have 50% of their HP chipped away. And decrease defense on S1, that means if I can, like, dual attack or counter with someone that's already defense broken with Ilanov, it's probably going to murder them. And apparently Mort has trained in enough? Did he train in enough? I'm not sure about the lore, but I mean, yeah, Mort is all about dragon and stuff, you know what I mean? And in enough is all about murdering those dragons, so yeah. They are intertwined by the red string of fate. Today we'll go war against Silver Flame Cult. Probably not cult, but I just say it as cult because it's funny. Hmm. Mm. This will not work. And here we go, round one. This is really exciting for me because I've been trying to use Mort for such a long time. He doesn't just let you use him. He kind of just sucks, but I'm just gonna say he's that good that even if you try to use him, you will not be able to have the ability to possess his infinite amount of power. It's like Shaggy, but has fun though. The enemy rather will be focusing on um, Ruel, and the crowd will be stuck hitting it enough. So yeah, there's a lot of chance for both it enough and Mort to proc their Elbrus, and if they do, I could get either def uh, decrease defense or just use the S2 on it enough, proc that, you know, S2, get the injury. So if I can injure them, take away their max HP, it will really just significantly kill them. Same with Rylan, actually. So that's the entire idea. Round two, we have this guy. He's gonna debuff me. Arby's gonna gap and kill me. And if he doesn't, then this Karen's probably gonna gap and kill me that way. On guard! That's... Irie? Is this an anti reference? He has 640 points, so this tell me this guy killed a lot of us. I will avenge my brothers! It's a speed violet! I've never seen this a lot, but okay. They actually did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. But here's the thing, they don't have barrier. That means, here we go. Illidan's first ever skill used in my account. She has the dual swords? I never knew that. I thought she's using a lance. Yeah, attacks the enemy with a spear. Where's the spear? We'll just do repel. It should hit everyone, and we get the crit damage buff. That means more damage on board, which it's okay. And did we hit? I think we hit Rollins. Ha! <laughs> ah! Why do we not crit? Why do we not? Can you not crit on that skill? I have 90% crit. Did you just miss it on everyone? Wait. Right, whatever. Well, more is gonna strip and become this and step on you. And we have the injury. Oh, there we go. So, defense buff hitting on you. I don't have... What's the word? I have not proc a single Elbris, which is not cool. But here we go, we do have this. This, a lot of people forget, Mort, if he has rage, he ignores ER. So yes, I can literally just hit this Ruel right here and watch this. I'm gonna, oh, 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 it worked, it worked, and I get this too, yo, 30%. Right, so you're not gonna, never mind. Just like that, we have 10 souls, and we can literally just spam this already. But let me just check this. You can crit, you can crit. Why did you miss all three of the crits? What? Well, anyways, I'll sober this. So next time I'll be able to use it again. This should do a lot on Ruel even. And it, yep, yep, the injury's popping up. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lifesteal crowd. Well, get defense broken, lifesteal crowd. Never mind. You have to heal. Well, 13k HP Ruel. Ah! Oh, that hurts. That, that hurts. That's not cool, bro. I just realized DPS Ruel. I fell with DPS Ruel because of you know, not doing enough damage, but now with crit damage buff, things might be different now. I really want to use S2, but I really want to keep her cooldown. Never mind, you know what, I'll, ju I'll just use- what? I'll just use S2. Uh, S2. I wanted to do S1 to proc the S2, but that's all RNG and so- <laughs> That's a lot of damage though! Yeah, she'd be good against Ruel's, because Ruel will not be able to heal herself 
if someone else has lower um, HP proportional to their maximum HP. So if Ruel is injured to the point of 50% and she has full HP, she will not heal herself because there's no point. She will heal someone like Crow with probably like 80% HP because he's not injured. He's actually losing probably 20% of his HP, which the AI will deem I will heal him instead. I don't know if it makes sense. It makes sense in my head. I, I hope you understand. But yeah, anyways, that's a lot of damage though. Given I have crit damage above and everything, but yo, let's go. All right, I have not procced a single Mortelix, a single Elbrus. Well, at least you will kill her well. Boom, there we go. And we proc this again. It's 30%. It doesn't usually happen, but okay. All right. That, okay, here we, here we go. Okay, that's not good. I swear if you crit well. <gasps> if that crit there, I would have absolutely died. So more telling. Saving the day here. I would do S2. Right, as you can see, it's on cooldown. But I can do S1. 50% chance to just literally use this. So yeah, you can say this thing basically has 50% chance to reset its cooldown pretty much every turn. So let's do S1. And we proc it this time. We didn't hit the rally, but it doesn't matter. I'll still hit on the injury. There we go. And guys, guess what time it is? It's the Great Mortalix. He's gonna strip. I have his tier 3 only fans. More injury. Let's go. This actually heals himself too, so. You're almost dead. That's a lifesteal run with over 200 speed. I love this thing. This thing's so sick. Mortalix is like the coolest design um, unit before Strasse comes, but Strasse is not here yet. Oh, getting this. Ooh, decrease, D. Oh. And Illinov is also sick as hell, so I really like this thing. While well, Ruel is kind of just there. Right, so here's the thing. Right now, Crowd will not horse because the injury has brought his HP down to basically this amount. And if he wants to horse, he has to have HP lower than this long line right here because injury takes away max HP. So right now, he will not horse. And guess what? Illinov, Sober, this will take away 20% every time it's used, so I will decrease the halfway bar even further. And if I crit, you're dead anyway. <laughs> right, you're not dead, but you will horse now, Ashley. Even if you horse it enough, you're not gonna kill her. You're not killing her with a 14k new. <laughs> Dude, injury, man. It's so fun. Storming again. This is infinite skills. It injures so much. It's pretty incredible. There we go. Now he has, yeah, now that is 50% HP gone. That is the maximum of injury HP you can take away. So this crowd right now, that's probably 13k HP. <laughs> yep, 13k HP crowd. Now imagine all of this. If I have good injury set and pair them with this, it's probably not gonna work, but it will look sick though. I'm not gonna be, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I have like no faith in that, but it works. Omen's gonna go. I expected like a speed everyone, but there's nobody with speed. We're like, I'll just provoke hell. I'll just strip that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, counter, but I silence you though. Let's go. Right, now I do. A bit of this because your silence. Yeah, yo, Lilibet though, the silence. Now you can't do shit because I got you silenced. Why does this guy just set cow? <laughs> he just said cow. He just randomly said cow. What the? But right, now I strip like a lollywood. And there we go. That's a full team of counter or something. Listen here, this is like a really good advice. The weakness of a counter attack RB is death. All right, so. You're gonna touch me, that's all I can do. Touch me like a kid would. Wait, this is an 18k RB. And I thought I was the meme. And there we go, we have Murder Dad's Irie, which is a protagonist in a hentai. I don't know if he's intended to name it over that, but if he does, jeez, you're a man of culture. Oh, oh, this is all right. If you murder me, Chloe, I will curse you with coconut. If you don't know about that meme, it's, it's a meme of a country. Some people use coconut to like curse the weather because it was raining a lot. They use coconut as a ritual to curse the weather. Ah, things happening in Malaysia. Round one. I've been meaning to use the injury team against um, t Surin just to see what happens. And Dark Corvus. I want to actually like know about this too. If I take away the HP from Dark Corvus, will his S3 do as much as he usually would? Round two. You've seen this before, you've seen this before, and you've definitely seen this before. There's like a new twin lollies in counter side. I'm, I'm just, I keep, my, my mind is full of them right now. I can't focus, but I'll try my best. Alright, this goes. I should prop some Elbrus here. I did get this, and the Elbrus prop the 50%, which gave me the S2. And there we go. 20% of our HP chipped off. That means the 70 mark is probably not here anymore. It's probably a bit back. I'm not sure. It could be still there. But anyways, I think the teaser is dead already. I'll do the attack buff here. And let's see if she procs it. He, he, she, she did proc it. That means after the injure, I, she still went below 70%. So that's why he proc it. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Now I'll do this. 
I'll get her out of stealth. Even if he's still in stealth, I'm fine because I have more Talix. The almighty. Boom. And now the more Talix go. I have attack buff and crit damage. Which should do insane damage anyway. But the main thing is injure. Boom. That's all. That should be quite a bit. That's just quite a bit. He did injure in TT Surin again. Let's go get injured, TT Surin. Now, cool part about injury. You revive. Now, guess what? You're still injured. Right. So... If I'm correct, as Mate Chloe bonked his t -Sirin. Never mind, I don't think I should bonk the t -Sirin. Should I? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. So, we take the stun, and yep, indeed. So if I chip away the, the HP with injury, I need her to go below 70% post-injury. That's when she will proc the passive. So this means, yeah, injury wouldn't do too good against t -Sirin anyway. She will still survive at least once. Guess what? S1? I'm gonna proc S2 again. Ah, god. All right, this is the first time I didn't proc it, but anyways. I'll just S1, and this time it'll proc S2. Watch. I didn't proc. All right, she'll still survive on this. It's so annoying. But anyways, if you do this, I'll definitely proc some Elbrus, right? Come on. No Elbrus. Very cool. Right, Maid is about to die. Maid is about to die? I'm not procing the S1 into S2 anymore. God, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Take counter. Ooh. So now we just hit the stun miraculously on someone like, um... This guy. Now we do S3. We have to revive again. Maid's not gonna die today. Even if he does, he's just gonna come back. I'll just do S3. I shouldn't have killed her well this way already. And I want to check something. And though that should kill her well, dude, that's quite a bit of damage though, yeah. So with Mort, with this, I will take away 15% more of um, his HP. So I want to see how much this does. How much Dark Corvus ult would do, even if I have injury on him. It should decrease his overall um damage because I took some HP off of him and he scales with HP. At least that's what I think, but I'm not sure. And guess what? It enough again. We can still win this. Say bye-bye to your HP, bro. Never mind, you just... <laughs> I wanted to test it, God! Right, just stop that. Is that a DPS? A real or an ungeared one? It's probably the ungeared one. Die to my lolly. Lollies will be the key to world peace. I'm, I'm saying this right now. I have this on my Twitch description, actually, so. Now you die. Don't you dare stun me. How dare you stun me? Perfection. I'm saying that like an Italian chef. Do I really have to face this calm again? Little bit just eats this, dude. Here's the ultimate test. Round one, you already know what's gonna happen, so. Round two, though. Here's the ultimate test. There's a teaser in there. There's a landy there. There's a lot of, like, dangerous things here, but I think they don't have sustain, which is why I can use the injury comp. I'll take away the barrier with Passar. In and out should go first. We buff the crit damage on Mortelix. We step on them. And after that, we should be able to, like, just literally one-tap the landing with, um, Illinoff S2. But we'll see what happens. That's like a better defense, right? So this would be a good um, way to like see how well would it enough work with Mort. I actually like it a lot, but in RTA, I think it's pretty easy to work around though. In Guild War, it's a pretty fun comp to use. Not needed though. You can just, you know, honestly in Guild War, you can just Dark Horse everything and then cleave the rest. But that's no fun. <laughs> Imagine playing Epic Sim for fun, dude. I'd rather play golf in a skateboarding ring. Right. Little Bad's gonna sit on them with her ass, although it's not showing but i guess it's just i'm just horny thank you for the free revive right here we go the ultimate test first of all the star goes if you dream blame me already it'll be a bit annoying but oh uh, it didn't it didn't happen anyway so we're good but we should take the turn that way enough should take the turn here we're gonna buff a bit if enough has injury on s3 it might be too broken but it'll be so good but yeah this animation i'll look at that but anyways no elbris you know yeah we have a lot of buffs now so we might be dead if this um, Nani hits too hard, but let's just hope. Well, we could proc some Elbris, right? Come on. No Elbris. Ah, oh, god, no, 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 no. Miss, you better miss on the- No, you- Oh, you did miss. Okay, that's- that's not okay. Uh, no! Come on! Mortelix solo? Mortelix didn't do it. Alright, and the most meta defense is still the meta defense, I guess. And that was it enough. Overall, I think if you use her in, let's say, yeah, you, you could use- You don't have to use her in board. If you use her with, let's say, a tank, a healer, she will be able to pretty much kill anything. How you would like to use her is, you know, S3 when you can, if you can. And S2 Soul Burn, if you can, when you can. With Elbris Ritual Sword, and if someone else hit your teammates, you can always proc in this punish again. Before, I already mentioned the problem with injuries is that it kicks in way too slow. With this, though, it pretty much solves the issue. If you land a dual attack, let's say if you pair it with Aeros, you'll be able to, like, Soul Burn S2 with Aeros. Just use their S1, which has 50% chance to use this instead. You get Soul Burn with herself too? 
to just use this. If you land this twice, you will chip off 40% HP on the from the enemy already and when you chip up 40 percent hp that's basically saying you'll be facing someone like a uh, 14k hp crowd if you chip away 50 percent total injury goes up to 50 percent so if you land punish three times you'll be able to take away 50 percent hp off the enemy and with that imagine a 20k hp well you'll be dealing with a 10k hp well after um, all the injury stuff happens with crit damage buff into another s2 or s1 or whatever you should be the kill any tank. It wouldn't take too long too because you know you can always sober this and yeah all you have to do is to keep her alive, keep your team alive with a tank and a healer and her, you're gonna injure everyone and I think I'll use her in RTA this way. I think it's actually going to work. She probably work as a tank buster. I I'm gonna try like theory crap a bit, we'll see. But that is all for today, if I'm just subscribe to the channel. Will you get I don't know, Let us know in the comments below and yeah of course suggest more weird stuff if you would like to see those and the, the guy that's asking for the flying comp I'll work on it, I guess. I'll, I'll do it eventually because you've been asking for it literally 30 times. But yeah, take care.